Troy Downing from Bozeman. Good to hear from you, Troy. Hey, thanks for having me on. Hey, I wanted to give a shout out to a couple of restaurants that are not only keeping their doors open, but uh, in my opinion, going above and beyond. Uh, these are ones that have uh, donated food to our staff and volunteers that have been over at Wild Rye uh, producing uh, hand sanitizer. So I'm just going to jump right into it. So uh, yeah, first I want to reach out to Ty, Ty Basil. Uh, Jason and Jen are the owners. Jason is a, uh, he's a vet, he's a Marine and, uh, you know, they, they've been helping us out. They're open, uh, firehouse subs also in Bozeman, oh, yeah. uh, pizza Campania has been another one, uh, seven sushi. Uh, mm-hmm. I want also want to reach out to, this isn't a restaurant, but, uh, Yellowstone bank also bought the, bought the crew lunch one day. I want to give a, a shout out to them and thanks. And then one final one, this is kind of an interesting one is, um, uh, the mint restaurant, uh, you know, we've, uh, been producing, uh, you know, hand sanitizer and one of our, our needs is, uh, just creating ethanol. And, uh, there's a bunch of restaurants out there that have, uh, uh beer and alcohol that they can't serve right now or the, and the beers, you know, going past its shelf life. So we got the mint is bringing over a bunch of, um, a beer that's going uh, past code so that we can actually uh, put that through our still and produce more ethanol a little bit more quickly. So that's kind of another interesting one. But I know that the mint is still open and uh, just wanted to give a shout out to those because uh, we are very much appreciating that uh, they're not only, you know, keeping their doors open in these in these tough times, but they're going above and beyond and, and supporting other people trying to be part of a solution. Well, and that's really cool. And I last week, Troy, when we talked with you about Wild Ride Distilling, and I know you're one of the owners of Wild Ride Distilling, you guys are making hand sanitizer now uh, from your distillery. You're giving it out to first responders and others, letting people come. Uh, uh, a, we got a phone call after that show from the hospital in Glendive, Montana, saying, hey, who, who who is it that's doing that? How do we get a hold of them? And then the next thing I know, um, I saw photographs that you shared. The Montana Highway Patrol troopers stopped by. They they basically hand delivered the hand sanitizer for the folks in Glenda. I just thought that was a cool story all around. That now we got we got we got Highway Patrol troopers picking up hand sanitizer and hooking up the, the our our first responder folks in Glendive. Yeah, what a what a what a great example of you know of of connection between you know uh, public and, and private uh, you know entities just trying to come together and solve problems. And yeah, the highway patrol they relayed. Uh, I guess the hospital in Glendive had an emergency need, so they relayed a couple of buckets out there, and then the next day uh, did exactly the same thing out to uh, Kalispell to a care facility out there, and also to the Kalispell Police Department. So uh, you know, just seeing not just businesses uh, step up to the plate, uh, the community stepping up to the plate, uh, government stepping up to the plate, everybody just coming together to solve a problem that we're, we're all facing. And, and uh, I keep saying this, but we're, we're all in this together. Yeah. Improvise, improvise, improvise. And, and there you go. Hey, if somebody needs it in Glendive, we got troopers picking it up from somebody making it in, in Bozeman. It's just quite remarkable. Troy Downing, thanks so much for calling in. Thanks for what you guys are doing there at Wild Ride Distilling as well.